For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish. Perish is when God will toss you out. And He'll toss you out without believing on Jesus Christ. But the gift of God's eternal life is Jesus Christ our Lord. Imagine suffering in hell and you don't have to. When God has already provided the way, provided the means for you to be saved, to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. There is no other hope. There is no other way but Jesus Christ. For Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me, except by me. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the truth. He arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is the gospel. The gospel is the good news. And you cannot have access to God without a scriptural access. And when Jesus Christ has done what he has done for the gospel's sake and for our souls, that's according to the scriptures. Religion is not according to scriptures. Religion is man-made by Satan. And yet Jesus Christ is God of truth. The Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ. Our Lord. For with the mouth confess the state of salvation, but we must believe with the heart. Easy, easy. One day you'll take your step into eternity. And your eternity will decide what you do before you die. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, absent from the body and present with the Lord. Any other means reject Jesus as your Savior. According to Luke 16, you'll die and then you'll wake up in hell, being in torment. Isaiah 53 speaks about Jesus Christ suffering and dying for our sins. For our iniquity, he was nailed to that cross, beaten. The chastisement was already placed upon. Jesus Christ by God. And when a man dies and goes off to hell, he suffers needlessly. It's already been suffered by Jesus Christ. You just got to put your faith. The Bible asks a question, what must I do to be saved? Acts 16, 31, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. The Bible also records Jesus Christ as the only mediator between God and man. Now those Bible doctrines have gone against religion because religion goes against God. Religion is not God approved. And you're not safe with religion. One day standing before Jesus Christ, he says, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. He said, Well, Lord, I was baptized. I went to this church. I did this. And the reply of Jesus Christ, Depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Those are scary words outside. The fact is that Jesus, without your faith and belief in Jesus, he will tell you to go to hell one day. And it'll be serious. And it'll be forever. See, the Bible speaks about an uh, afterlife. After you die, the life spoken about is heaven or hell and nothing else. 
And the only way to get to heaven, Jesus said, he's the way to heaven. How do you get to hell? Just do nothing. Believe something other than Jesus. And one needs not to go to hell. All you got to do is believe on Jesus. The Lamb of God which take away the sins of the world. The means of salvation has already been wrought by the finished work of Jesus Christ. The means to get to heaven has been finished by Jesus Christ. The only access you have to God is by Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ was not made to be a customer. Jesus Christ, the name, there is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. Now the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is Jesus Christ, our Lord. And once you wake up to the afterlife, after death, and realize your mistake in not believing in Jesus, you cannot turn the clock back. Once you step off the eternity, you've already left it. It's done. It's finished. Now is the time to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now is the time to be saved. Jesus said you must be born again. The problem is you were born in sin through your parents, their parents, running all the way back to heaven, for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Jesus said, suffer the little children to come unto him. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ. Listen, life is heaven or it's hell. God the Creator that made him, that made the human race, made a male and female. And that male and female, Adam and Eve, rejected the Word of God. And, sin. and by their rejection of the Word of God, sin has come and death has reigned. For the wages of sin is death. God knowing full well that the human race was doomed because of sin. And the love of God for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So the dilemma is you can keep on going the way you're going without Jesus Christ and end up in hell. Or you can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved. Saved from hell. By the finished work of God. Death is coming. It may come today. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and that shall be saved. There is nothing else in the protection of God except by Jesus. And Jesus is not to be taken morally, he's to be taken by faith. With the heart man believes unto righteousness, with the mouth confessions made unto salvation. Your death is a serious business. You're not just going to die and lay in a, a coffin all, all time. The Bible says that there's an afterlife, there's a heaven, there's a hell, there's nothing else. And the way to heaven, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. And the way to access to hell is rejecting Jesus Christ. Rejecting the gift of God. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord.
You must make that decision before you die. I advise you to believe on Jesus. I advise you to do it God's way. Your Creator, your Savior, tells you, but gives you the option that you can believe and be saved, or you can unbelieve and be damned. Condemnation. One day Jesus is coming back. Prophecies have been fulfilled by Jesus. All the prophecies of his first coming, 100%. And if his prophecies of the first coming are 100%, you better believe his second coming will be 100%. And when the Bible states that salvation rests upon Jesus Christ, it rests upon Jesus Christ. And nothing else. God is not into idols and idolatry or gains of worship. If anybody would read the Bible. That's the Bible you must put your faith and trust of your sin upon the shed blood of Jesus Christ to save your soul. There are no Baptists in heaven. There are no Catholics in heaven. Only those that have been washed by the Lamb by the new birth. Too many people are waking up, thinking they've done good, thinking they're right, and have walked into the gates of hell for all eternity. And you cannot say, oh, I'm good, when the Bible says there is none that you are good. All have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one, and that's you and me. And when you step before God as not doing good, then you're not righteous. You are a sinner. You're not going to enter into the gates of heaven. No way. You gotta have that access to heaven by one that is righteous, one that has never sinned, and one that is good above all good, and that's through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen, folks, death is coming, and it will come sooner than you expect. Tomorrow is not promised. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today. Now is the day of salvation. The love of God is the Lord Jesus Christ. The long suffering of God is that He is given and into His heaven by the Lord Jesus Christ. You're not going to get in there by religion. You will not appear before God good because the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Christ alone. The love of God is that God sent His Son. In your trials, in your tribulations, in your death, without Jesus Christ, it will be hell. You can go to hell with your religion. You can go to hell with your positive thinking. You cannot go to hell by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. For with the heart man believes on the righteousness. With the mouth confession made unto salvation. It is for the young, it is for the old. It is for the male, it is for the female. The Creator has provided you a way to get out of hell, and that is Jesus Christ. We are sinners by rebelling against the Word of God. We are sinners by birth. And to remain as 
a sinner. The penalty thereof is hell. But to be washed by the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world is salvation. There is no other salvation brought by God but that by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. so loved the world that he gave the only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Good people don't get to heaven. Religious people do not get to heaven. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. The Bible says that you may think you're good enough, yet the Bible says you're not good enough. For there is none that doeth good. The Bible says, oh, if you think you're righteous enough, there is none righteous. No, not one. All oh, have sinned. But come short of the glory of God when you are not good enough. You're not righteous enough. Right. You're not going to stand before God on his good side. You're going to be standing before God once. Yet the Bible says, what must I do to say? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and God shall be saved. For God so loved the world, His love is the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life is Jesus Christ, our Lord. Salvation is wrought only by Jesus Christ. There is a heaven by Jesus Christ, and there is a hell for those who will not believe on Jesus that will not get right, that will not do right according to what God has said. Salvation is wrought by God through the gospel that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. In order to get to heaven, in order to be saved, you've got to have a scriptural foundation. You've got to have a scriptural salvation. And that scriptural salvation is only and rests upon only the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the prescribed way to rid you of your sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. That's the only thing. You cannot be good enough to get to heaven. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. You cannot be righteous enough to get to heaven. You cannot think that religion will get you into heaven. Because if all those things were proper to get to heaven, then why Jesus Christ? Why did he suffer and die according to the scriptures? Why was he buried? Why did he arise from the grave the third day, the third night? Because you can't do it. The very fact that God, Jesus Christ, showed up on this planet to offer salvation, to offer a way of righteousness to get right before God, is a way to prove that you cannot do it yourself. It proves that religion is inefficient for salvation. It proves that you cannot get to God outside of God's Son. For the love of God is that He sent His only begotten Son. He suffered and died and took on our iniquities that we may have eternal life. He that has the Son has eternal life. He that has not the Son shall not see life. But the wrath of God abiding upon Him, that wrath is judgment and hell. You are not okay without Jesus Christ. 
Without Jesus Christ, you will burn in the lake of fire forever. And yet, what do you even do to be saved? The Bible says, Acts 16.30. Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says to us, I are saved. Go in all the world and preach the gospel. We are to tell you what God has prescribed as the means of salvation. And that salvation is in the Son. It is in God. It is in Jesus Christ alone. You cannot say, I'm going to heaven outside of Jesus Christ. It's impossible. It's a lie. John 8, 44 tells us that the liar, the foundation of the liar, is Satan himself. We are all sinners. All have sinned. And in our sin, we cannot stand before a holy and righteous God. For God says, Be ye holy. For I am holy. And that, as far as the human being, it's impossible. It's impossible for us to be right enough unless we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. 